So I've been letting you guys know that Stadia for the month of December is going to have its biggest month since its launch last year, and that isn't limited to just the dozens of new games that are launching. We also have iOS support, Ubisoft Plus, and more countries launching sometime in the next four weeks. With that, things are still happening on the back end that might not be as big, but it's still relevant. We have a most gifted page that was found on the Stadia store, two games rated for the platform, and one of them is pretty good, and Red Dead Redemption and Immortals Phoenix Rising launching on Stadia with both a performance and resolution mode. We're going to go ahead and check that out in this video and do a side-by-side -side comparison of Red Dead. All that in this video, so make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that red subscribe button to follow daily Stadia and cloud gaming content. So to kick off this video, let's quickly touch on this most gifted page. Apparently, this page on the Stadia store has been around for a long time, and it's possible that I even covered it before I I can even remember, but I wanted to go and highlight this because one of the side requested features a lot of us would love to see, especially with these holidays, is the ability to give games with potentially game codes. Buying a new game like Cyberpunk 2077, for example, and gifting the game to a friend or family would really go a long way to not only pushing this platform to more people, but it opens up more revenue opportunities for Stadia considering this platform is all in the cloud. Seeing this page tells me they do have plans to somehow implement this potentially at some point, and I hope it's on the radar for a drop soon, as I would love to buy codes and gift them to you guys here on the channel. Either way, stay tuned, as I always try my best to find out any new info that comes out on new features, and I will definitely cover this if it does launch. Alright guys, so we have two games that were recently rated for Stadia, one by Peggy and Enter the Gungeon, and the other by ESRB and Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Which, yes guys, that is a real game, <laughs> no joke. Cthulhu Saves Christmas is a turn-based JRPG comedy. The game looks like it doesn't take itself too serious, and it has these old-school visuals and gameplay. Then we have the legend that is Enter the Gungeon, probably one of the most bought indie games of all time, one that I have frustratingly quit on because of its legendary difficulty and honestly it's a perfect fit with stadia with its action bullet hell dungeon crawler loot grabbing excellence this is a game that i'm very very happy to see on stadia and one that i do recommend to everyone if you've never played it especially since it heavily features co-op local co-op that is and last but not least and i almost missed this one so i'm having to edit and put this one in but darksiders 3 the action-packed hack and slash title got rated by the ESRB. The game follows Fury of the Four Horsemen and uh, has relatively good reviews all around. So this should be a fun one when we do see it on Stadia and a title that I actually am looking forward to trying out. So glad to see this one getting rated as well. All right, so we have news of games coming out here with performance and resolution modes and Immortals Phoenix Rising will be launching with a resolution mode that will be at 4K 30 FPS. I covered this myself on the channel with a game gameplay video, a lot of you guys told me that you were not happy to see that the game was at a mere 30 FPS. But guys, I have great news as a friend of the channel, Zach from Android Police, let us know that there is a performance mode that will have it at 1080 60 FPS for those who want the game on a higher frame rate. To me, this is really great news. A game that has split second action and requires precision, having a higher frame rate is much needed for those who really desire that type of gameplay. The game is still very playable and enjoyable though, in my opinion, at 4K 30 FPS. Yes, but it's good to know that we have options. So kudos here goes to Ubisoft on that. With Immortals though, it's not the only title to be instituting this, as recently Red Dead Redemption has come out with a patch with now the ability to have a resolution mode. Now this game has been 60 FPS for quite some time now. The game visually has never been the prettiest on Stadia, but it's always ran super smooth, which to me I always valued as Red Dead is the most played title on my Stadia library. But now, as you guys can see here with the resolution mode, the game looks much, much prettier side by side, but still it's only at 30 FPS. So I don't really see me playing at this resolution mode, but I'm glad that this has been put in the game for those who enjoy it. And the game is again, very much playable at 4K 30 from my testing it on Stadia. Overall, I do hope this continues to be the trend here going forward with games on Stadia, as I think a lot of us are either okay with either one 
one of the options. Would I love to always have 4K 60 FPS? Yes, of course I would. But if you can't do it, give us these options here going forward. All right, guys, with that, let me know your thoughts on today on Stadia News. Uh, would you guys actually appreciate a gifting option for friends and family? I'm wondering how many of you would actually utilize that. Your thoughts as well on Enter the Gungeon or Cthulhu Saves Christmas and performance and resolution modes. What do you guys uh, think about that? Would you guys like to see more of these games have more of these options? I know I would. Let me know all that down below, guys. Like always, guys, I'm Sunny, and I'll see you guys in the cloud.